Recently, I made a video about how to replace door hinges, and I got a really good comment in the comment section of that video, and it was, why do you put one long screw in the middle of the door hinge? And I'm glad I got that comment because I didn't even think to go into detail about it. And if you install doors for a living, you're gonna know the answer. But for those who don't know, let me go into a little bit of detail because it is pretty important. This is especially important now because a lot of doors or most doors that are installed are called split jam doors. And what that means is it comes all together with the trim that goes on the outside and the door itself is part of the jam and it all comes together. You split it apart, install the door side, and then you install the trim on the other side and call it a day. But a lot of times, unfortunately, people will just install it by nailing all the trim around the outside. Let's say this is the side of the door. They'll install the door and then they will install some finish nails and then they'll put this side on and call it a day. That's not great because now you're relying on just the jam itself and even if you put some nails in the jam, that's not gonna be great, especially if it is a solid door. You might get away with it if it's a hollow core door, but the way you should install it is to put shims behind the jam and behind each hinge and put a long screw in here into the framing. Otherwise, you're just relying on this little jam that may or may not be attached to the framing, and over time, it could sag, and that's where you have problems opening and closing the door. Let me give you an example of that. I always put my long screw right here in the middle because this screw hole is a little further this way, and I have a better chance of getting into that framing back there. But I'm gonna take this one out. Let's see how long that is compared to what they come with, which are these right here. Probably three quarter inch or seven eighths. So I'm gonna put this back in, but loose. Basically what I wanna do is simulate years of not having a long screw in here, and these, we'll say, are all loosening up. And if you look on the inside here, so now what can happen is over time, your door starts to sag. And that's when you get the rubbing and the door's sticking shut. Another thing that can happen, even if your door isn't to the point where it's hitting and having trouble opening and closing, what could happen is this latch right here could have dropped just enough to not be able to lock into the catch. So maybe your door just won't stay closed. This one's fine. But if you dropped just slightly where that latch isn't going into the catch anymore, your door might not stay closed. So that's another thing that can happen. And it all could be avoided unless your house is sinking or you have other types of problems. It can all be avoided by putting that long screw in there. In real time, check it out. This is the easy fix. Tighten up these screws. And then put your long screw back in. And then your door should close perfectly. And that's also where you can adjust your reveal to make it even, to make it look nice. So I put a long screw in each hinge so that way there's no movement. And again, when I install the door, I put shims behind each hinge before I put those screws in. That way the door isn't gonna move. So if you didn't know before, hopefully this video helps out. Thanks for watching.